The Temperate Forest in Mexico is mostly distributed in North and South Baja California, the Sierra Madre Oriental and Occidental, the Sierra Norte of Oaxaca and South Chiapas. We can find it at altitudes of 2,000 and 3,400 meters and also it occupies the 16% of Mexico's territory, that means 3,233 square kilometers. What is the pattern of temperature and precipitation for that biome? Cold to moderate winters, uh, warm summers, and year-round precipitation. Um, it receives around 140 to 167 uh, inches of rainfall annually. In a temperate forest, there are wet and dry seasons. Water temperature uh, rarely drops below freezing, and summer temperatures are usually around 24 to 27 degrees. The temperate forest experiences mild, wet winters and cold, foggy summers. The abiotic factors are related to the type of organisms in the biome because they adapt themselves in order to survive in that area. For example, if certain species lives in a biome with dry climate, uh, it will adapt itself so it will survive with less water. This adaptability occurs through generations. The principal characteristic of this biome is the large amount of trees. So because of the large amount of trees, there is a lot of oxygen because of the leaves. And also there is it's a principal source of oxygen to the humanity and that's why it's important. The flora is divided in five zones. The first zone contains oak and maple. The second zone is young and small trees. The third zone contains mainly shrubs. The fourth zone is principally herbal plants. And the fifth zone contains lichen, club mosses, and mosses. According to the Banff National Park in the United States, the endangered species in the, in the boreal forest are the following. The wolverine. The grizzly bear the whooping crane and the lady slipper thing. There are over 8 million pollute, chemical pollutants in the temperate forest. Yeah. This includes natural pollution caused by volcanic eruptions, smoke from fires, and CO2 and, met and methane from lake baits. There are also dirty air because of arsenic, benzene, candium, CO2, chlorine, lead, and radioactive materials. There are also the acid pollutants that destroy the soil. The common animals are deer, mice, raccoon, gray squirrels, snakes, robins, and frogs.